Hello, I'm Stephen Cooley and welcome to Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. Hope you're enjoying the beautiful homes we have for sale in your area. I've got Chris Hood on my show today. Um, if you've watched the show before and hopefully you have, you know that Chris is one of the agents here on the Stephen Cooley team and a local Rock Killian, which are hard to find. Yeah, we're few and far between. Yeah, a lot of transplants in our area, thank goodness, they all buy homes. And um, so today I wanted to bring Chris on the show and talk about rent versus buying. If you're out there and you're trying to make that decision, I thought we'd give some tips to help people make that decision. Um, there's a lot of rental properties available more than ever. Investors have been buying them. They put them on the market and they rent them. So um, if you're in the market for a three bedroom, two and a half bath home with a garage, you can probably find it right now for rent or for sale. So of course we're in the sales business. So I wanted us to give some, just some tips on things to think about if you're trying to decide um, between rent versus buy and you create that column of pluses and minuses, Chris. Um, let's hit on some reasons um, to um, buy instead of rent. Sure, um, we're gonna start with some numbers to support it. Um, there was a recent Forbes article published that stated it is right now 38% cheaper to buy than it is to rent. And a lot of that has to do with interest rates being right. so low. Um, and they actually say that that's going to remain true until you see interest rates going up over 10. Right. Which, um, if you look at the trend, they are going up. So. Yeah. Uh, you can you can take two homes, um, one bought 20 years ago, and I was in the business then, and one bought today. And because rates are so low, the average home back 20 years ago was around 100,000, and the payment was about 800 a month, and now the average is about 180,000. The interesting thing is, with low rates, that payment's still 800 a month, and um, um, but people's income has tripled in 20 years. So um, the the cost, the percentage to own a home out of your your yearly income is a lot less than it was 20 years ago. Right, and and that ties into just being afford the affordability of, of buying right now is great. Right. You got interest rates low like we just touched on, and um, they're only going to go up. Yeah, absolutely. They're waiting on a sign that the economy is recovering, and they're seeing that in every sector. And the way they slow the economy down, and the way they keep inflation from kicking in, is to raise rates, the cost of borrowing money. And so that will definitely be on the rise in the next year or two. And the beauty of homeowners is that they can lock that rate in. Absolutely. And um, when you do lock that rate in, you're, you're going to make payments and you're going to add equity into your home. And, and that's from um, making an interest pay, where you're paying interest and principal each time. Um, each time you're paying that payment, you're reducing your debt, adding equity into the home. And that's something that is not going to happen when you're renting a house. You're going to be paying a, a landlord's rent. Yeah. I mean, mortgage. Excuse me. Right. And um, and if you're strapped for cash or anything like that, you can always borrow against that, and that money will also come back to you when you do sell. So that's exactly right. So every payment you make, part of its interest and part of its principal, and that principal reduces the the debt. And so every time you make a payment, you're creating some equity in your home. One day, your home will be paid off. Um, as Chris said, if you get strapped for money, you can do a, a, a second mortgage or a home equity line and borrow against that, that, that equity you've created. You definitely can't borrow against the landlord's house. No, you cannot. Um, <laughs> landlords are no good. Um, the, the next benefit of purchasing would be um, tax benefits. And um, it's, it's a great investment for that reason. Um, it's the only investment you can write off. You can write off your interest and your property taxes each year. That's right. So out of that payment, part of its interest and part of its principal, the principal is reducing your debt. The interest is the money you're paying the bank to borrow the money, and that is tax deductible. And I don't know of any other um, investment that A, you can borrow to buy. I mean, you can borrow to buy cars and boats, but they're not investments. Right. But you, you can't borrow to buy stocks and bonds, but you can borrow to buy a home. And then um, it's the only um, purchase in the world that you borrow and the government lets you write off um, the money. And that's very, actually very unique to the United States. Um, there are Canada and some other places, you don't write off interest on your taxes. And that has been up for debate um, multiple times in the last few years on whether they do away with that. 
and they haven't done away with it. So um, you can write off what you pay the bank to borrow the money. Yes, sir. It's a big benefit. Absolutely. Um, another pro would be your stabilized monthly payments. Mm -hmm. um, with a landlord, you never know if they're going to jack rent on you. Mm -hmm. um, with your fixed mortgage, your payments are going to remain relatively the same throughout. Absolutely. And, I, and I, we're not picking on landlords because I am one. Um, but a landlord can call the tenant um, when a lease is up and go up any amount that they want to go up. And you've got to either stay, stay there and pay that amount or move. And so these fixed payments, your payment never goes up for 30 years. And so huge benefit and that kind of falls into another issue with the landlord. And that's if I want to get a puppy or I want to paint my house. Right. Um, your creative freedom in, in owning a home is is much higher. You can, like you said, paint the wall the color you want. You can get a dog, whatever you like to do. Make improvements. If you make improvements to a house you're renting, the, the landlord's going to benefit, not you. Um, so be, having that creative freedom is a major plus. And we see a lot of people who want to, to decorate and paint and make window treatments and um, put things into the walls and um, change colors just on a weekend on a whim. Your kids wake up one morning, they want a puppy. You've got to wait for the landlord to call you back and say yes or no to that. And there's probably going to be a non-refundable puppy pet deposit. Um, and so when you own, you, you make all those decisions and you ask no one's permission. And, and that, that's the wonderful part of that. And, the, and I, I, one of the last things to touch on is just the difference when you go into a neighborhood with a bunch of homeowners versus tenants. Yeah, there's really no way to describe it. Um, you know, there's a sense of pride in owning a home. It's it's your home as opposed to someone else's. Um, when you go into a neighborhood with a bunch of tenants, they're probably not going to fix broken decks. Probably not going to you know cut the yard, water the yard, um, and and the overall appearance of the neighborhood is going to look a lot better when you have owners in there. Absolutely. And and I have rented. You've rented before. Most of us have. And I'm not going to water um, a landlord's yard during a drought. I'm not going to plant seasonal flowers or I'm going to see things broken and call the landlord and hope he, he or she fixes them, but I'm not fixing them. So usually a home is maintained better, which makes the, the whole sense of the neighborhood better when people own. So Yeah, so in short, it's, it's probably a better investment to buy at this moment. Absolutely. Um, and and, and, and that, that could change over the years, so people should definitely take advantage of that. Um, and, and purchase and there's wonderful programs out there that actually the down payment to buy is less than the deposit that a landlord would require. There's some great, great programs. Yeah, great programs and we have information on that. So, if you're interested in buying and hearing about those programs, um, give Chris a call here on the Stephen Cooley team and Chris, tell them how to reach you. Reach me here at 803-985-1240 or at my email at chris at stephencooley.com. Absolutely. Please visit us on the web. If you'd like your home shown on the show, give me a call, Stephen Cooley at 803-985-1240 or visit us on the web at stephencooley.com. I hope you've enjoyed watching the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. If you're interested in advertising your business on the program, please give us a call at 803-326-2777 or send us an email at ask at makeitlocal.com. Join us next week for more discussions on real estate topics and help in finding your perfect home. Thanks for watching.